Hello, welcome to NPTEL NOC, an introductory course on point set topology, part 2, module 14. We continue our study with paracompactness. The following result, which gives various characterization of paracompact spaces under additional condition of regularity is due to my care. Be, be warned about this condition regularity. For some implications, this may not be necessary, but there are other implications, it will be necessary and there are counter examples. We are not going that much deeper into it. Uh, basically, the presentation that I have taken is close to what you can see in Villard's book. If you want a more elaborate description of this paracompactness with more characterizations, then you can have a look at Kelly's book. Whatever we are doing today, part of it we will be using in the final solution of metrizability problem. Okay, so we begin with a definition. A family of subsets of a topological space is called sigma locally finite. If the family can be expressed as countable union of subfamilies given, each of them is locally finite. Obviously, if something is locally finite already, then it is sigma locally finite. Okay. So, here is the theorem that we want to go through today. Let x be a regular space. Then the following conditions are equivalent. x is paracompact. Every open cover for x has a sigma locally finite open refinement. Every open cover of x has locally finite refinement, the last one here is every open cover for X has locally finite closed refinement. Okay, so let us go through these proofs quickly. A implies B is very obvious because X is paracompact implies every open cover as a locally finite open refinement. Locally finite already implies sigma locally finite as we have pointed out earlier. So, A implies B is obvious. B implies C, we start with every open cover having a sigma locally finite open refinement and then we want to produce a locally finite refinement. So, this is an improvement, but Remember, there is no, just notice that we have not put openness here. So, we will not be achieving openness in this step. So, we are not actually proving paracompactness, but something weaker here, right? So, B implies C, let us see how to prove that. Start with an open cover for X, say call it U, which is, okay, V B A. Uh, countable union of Vn be an open refinement of U such that each Vn is locally finite. Okay, so sigma locally finite open refinement is there for you. So start with an open cover which admits a sigma locally finite open refinement. Okay. Put W n equal to the union of all the elements in curly V n. Okay. Then W n as n ranges over the, uh, in, over the natural number, that will be an open cover for x because this curly V is an open cover. Okay. Now, we are defining A n equal to W n minus 
the union of all the previous WIs, I range from 1 to n minus 1. If this is an open subset, I am subtracting an open subset from an open subset. So, that will not, A n will not be an open subset in general, okay, unless uh, something discrete happens, this is also closed and so on. Then clearly, what is true is that this curly A, which is a collection of A n, says n rings over the natural number, is a refinement of W n, because each A n is contained inside W n, okay. And refinement is fine, but when you when you have a cover, W n, W n is a cover, I have to prove that A is also a cover, okay. For each x inside x, let n x denote the smallest number or you can say the first number such that x is inside w n. Okay. So, x is inside w n x, smallest number n such that x is inside w n x. Then x will be inside a n x because it is not in any of these w i's. Right? So, x will not get uh, deleted. So, it will be it is inside w n x and it is not getting deleted. So, it is there inside a n and hence a is a cover. So, now what we have got is a is a cover and it is refinement of w n all right this cover w. Okay. Also, now you look at W n x is a neighborhood of x. Okay, W n x is uh, they are all open, and W n x will not meet any A m for m bigger than n x, because in A m m bigger than n x, this W n x gets subtracted. Okay, so those po those points will be deleted from W uh, M. Okay, so A M will not intersect W N X for M bigger than N X. This means that this family is locally finite. Okay, so we have got a locally finite cover. All right, but this is not a refinement of u i want to get a refinement of u right these are uh, somewhat larger so here is what you have to do put b n equal to a n cap v where v belongs to uh, curly v n so everything is ha now happening inside v n okay so you take a n intersect with each member of V and put that family as B n. Then you take curly B to be the union of B n, n ranging over the integers, uh, the v natural numbers. Given any x in n x, if n x is chosen as before, namely the first n for which x belongs to W n, remember that. Then we have shown that x is inside A n x, right. Also, x is inside w n x implies x is inside some v for some v where v is in b n x. Okay, it is already in a n x, it must be in some v here, so it will be in the intersection. Okay, so x is v n x here, so x is inside a n x intersection v, which is b n x. Therefore, B is a cover for X. So, this is now written as countable union of this B n and this is a cover, okay. Still, there is no openness here, okay. So, B is refinement of V because each element of B is B n intersection V, it will be inside B n. Okay, B is a refinement of V, V is a refinement of U, so B is a refinement of U. All that we have to see that is now this this B is sigma locally finite. What we wanted to do here, the B is a sigma locally finite. Uh, sorry, B, uh, open cover for X uh, is a locally finite refinement. Okay, this B is locally finite 
is what we have to show now. Okay. Once again, we note that x inside n, uh, given x inside n, if n x equal to k is chosen as before, once again I repeat, what is n x? n x is the smallest number n such that x is inside w n. Okay. So, I am now writing it as k. Okay. This w k is a neighborhood of x because x belongs to w k and it does not make members of b n n bigger than k because this w k gets subtracted in them. Right? That means that this w k may intersect only members up to b 1, b 2, b k members inside b 1, b 2, b k. If they are in b k plus 1 and so on, it will not intersect. Now, for each 1, 2, 3 up to k, what happens? Each b i is locally finite because they are refinements, they are subfamilies of v i s. Okay? Each v i is locally finite at least. Okay? There exist neighborhood g i of x which meet only finitely many members of v i fix one i here, one belongs to one up to k, then there will be only finitely many v i's okay, which will intersect g i. So, I can choose g i in such a way because of uh, local finiteness of v i. Now, you look at intersection of all these g i's, i ring 1 to k and w k also. Okay, w k will cut off things from k plus 1 onwards and this, this intersection will have the property that this will meet only finitely many members from each of b 1, b 2, b k and totally it will be finitely many members of the, the curly b. So, therefore, this b is locally finite. All right. So, that was some proof here. You see, it needed from local finite, uh, sigma locally finiteness to locally finite. But the prize we have given is that we have not bothered to oh, get the family an open family. Oh, they are not members of, they are not, uh, not, members are not open. Now we have to improve upon that. Okay. So next step we will do that. Let now C implies D. So C implies D means what? Now starting with a open starting with arbitrary uh, uh, locally finite refinement, we want to make it locally finite closed refinement. Okay. And from closed refinement, finally, D implies A will be open refinement, that is para compactness. Okay. So, that is the idea. So, now let us say C implies D. So, let u be any open cover by regularity comes here now. You see. By regularity for each x belonging to v x inside u, we get an open subset v x such that v x bar is inside u x. In particular, if you take all the v x's as x range over x, this is a shrink of u, right? v x bars instead of are inside concerned inside u x. From hypothesis C, we get a locally finite refinement of A, refinement A of B. I am calling the uh, refinement as uh, curly A. Okay. Then from lemma 3, 3, I will tell you what is this lemma 3, 3. The closure of A as A belongs to A is locally finite. So, this precisely if you have a locally finite family, of subsets, then their closures is also locally finite. This was the lemma. In fact, that lemma had more things. In fact, union of arbitrary families of closed subsets here, in the closures of here will be again closed. That is the second part here. So, this we have proved and we have used it uh, elsewhere also. So, these closures are locally finite. So, clearly it is a refinement of u because all these C, all these v x is bar are contained inside u x. Okay. So, and a bars will be contained inside some v x bars will be contained in u x. So, they are refinement of u as well. Alright. 
So that complete C implies D. If we if A A inside A is covering, A bar inside here also will cover. So there is no problem about that. So let us finally take this the D implies A from closed refinements, closed locally finite refinements, we are now proving that given any open cover, there is a locally finite open refinement. So, that will be paracompact. So, start with any open cover, start with a locally finite closed refinement of you. Uh, we are going to put a open refinement of A now. So, you can as well assume to begin with we have instead of you, you can just now take uh, A. Okay. A is a locally finite closed refinement of you. Closed refinement being a uh, cover itself. This means that for each x in x, there exists a neighborhood V x of x, which means only finitely many members of A. Okay. Now, there exists locally finite closed refinement of this cover, namely V x as x belongs to x. So, starting with an op arbitrary open cover, we passed on to a locally finite closed refinement. Using the local finiteness of that, we got a cover V, okay, with the property that members of V x are detecting the local finiteness of this. Thing. That itself will have a closed uh, locally finite refinement and that is C. Okay. So, now you can just work with this A and C, you can forget about U and C. It follows that each C belonging to C means only finitely many members of A, okay, because they are refinements of V x and V x will mean finitely many members of A. For each A inside A, select a U A inside U such that A is contained inside U A. Remember, this U was an open cover and started with A as a refinement. Okay, refinement means for each A there will be U A. Okay. Right? Select one such A in U A that A is contained inside A. And put A star, this is just a notation, equal to U A, this is an open subset, minus all the elements or union of all the members of this C which intersect A, which do not we do not intersect A. So, what I am doing here is I am taking this element A and I am fattening it inside U A. See, members of A are closed, they are locally finite and they are closed refinement. So, uh, right. There exists a neighbor, uh, sorry, here locally finite closed refinement. A is a locally closed refinement. Usually, what you have done earlier in all earlier things, starting with an open subset, you got a shrink, a closed refinement, so you get. Now, you are going to expand them, right. So, how do I expand? I expand it inside UA. How do I do that? So, UA is open, throw away a closed set. What is that closed set? It is a union of all the closed sets C inside C, which do not meet A, because when you are throwing away, you do not want to throw away points of A, that is all. Okay, A intersection C is empty, whatever you have thrown away, it does not intersect uh, A, so A part is kept as it is. Since this is locally finite family and they are closed, arbitrary union of such closed sets is closed. This again used, this lemma 3.3 is used here. So, U A minus this set is a open subset. So, each A star is a fattening of A to an open subset. Moreover, they are inside U A, that means they are refinements of U. This family A star as A belongs to this curly A is a locally is a locally finite no, sorry is a or is a cover for X because A is a cover for X and it is a refinement of U. Okay. 
so there is lot of hope with this family right in that we will show that a star is locally finite also and that will complete the proof that d implies a okay remember i re just recall what we have done starting with this a which is a locally finite closed refinement okay you select one single member u a which contains u contains a which is inside u okay from u a you subtract a closed subset that closed subset does not intersect a therefore a is contained inside a star so that is the fattening of a but since you have subtracted a closed subset this is an open subset a covers the entire x so a star will cover the entire x they are refinements this much we have done we have to show that this a stars are locally finite so a star is a locally is refinement is locally finite means it is what remains now again use the fact that c is locally finite given any x in x we can find a neighborhood ws of x which intersects finitely many members c1 c2 ck of c since c is a cover it follows that this neighborhood wx must be contained in whatever members which intersect namely i range from 1 to k ci okay other members don't intersect so they are not needed to cover x but all of them together has to cover wx therefore wx is contained inside i range from 1 to k ci okay this implies now suppose wx intersects some a star we want to finally prove that a star is locally finite right take a member of a star say a star wx suppose intersects a star wx intersects in a star is non empty but wx is contained inside this union therefore one of the ci intersection a star must be non empty if all ci intersection a is non -em empty then this won't happen so for some i it may happen for several of them doesn't matter at least one i for which ci intersection a star is non empty must exist okay but ci intersection a star look at this definition okay ci intersection a star is non empty means ci is not here not here means what a intersection ci itself is non empty right so ci intersection a star is non empty implies that ci intersection a itself is non empty okay so ci meets only finitely many members of a so that is the choice of this c right right from the beginning using local finiteness of a we have got this v and then c i was c was the refinement of that for closed refinement of so these in, in finitely many members of a it follows that w x intersection a star is empty for all but finitely many members of a star okay fix an a star look at wx intersection a star if it is non empty then they must be inside this right in one of the ci and each ci will contribute only finitely many of the members okay therefore there will be only finitely many members of a star for which wx intersection a star is not empty. so this completes the proof that a star is locally finite and the theorem of michael is complete okay as a immediate consequence we get a stronger version of this theorem 3.6 that we have proved namely if you have a locally compact hausdorff space which is lindelof then it is para compact locally compactness automatically implies regularity therefore regular lindelof space is para compact is a stronger theorem now okay how do you get this one every open cover has a countable sub cover which is automatically sigma locally finite right 
accountable family you can write it as singleton union of singleton countable union of singleton so singleton uh, open set singleton families are automatically uh, finite locally finite okay so using this criterion okay once you have regularity sigma locally finite refinement or the first thing here right a and b here b every sigma locally finite open refinement that will give you axis para compact okay so e the proof of this one you can directly prove this one also things won't be all that easy i mean much easier than what we got we have done already is a ready made example of sigma locally finite refinement we have defined but we haven't given an example so i want to give an example consider the family v which we met in the proof of theorem 3.1 3.21 namely while proving that a pseudo metric space is para compact okay there we have actually proved that that family v is sigma discrete remember sigma discrete means what it is a countable union of you know sub families each sub family for each point there will be a neighborhood which will intersect only one of them one of the members so that is your sigma discreteness that is a discreteness sigma discreteness means such so union of such countable union of such families that is what we have done so sigma discrete is automatically sigma locally finite okay so we have such ready made examples there so sigma locally finiteness is uh, is slightly more general family than sigma discreteness sigma discreteness is a very strong condition therefore when you come up to several steps that the step 11th step if we use theorem 3.26 of my case you don't have to go further at all because immediately you can conclude that is para compact whereas there we have to work harder and complete it because we wanted to have an independent proof for metric space uh, pseudo metric spaces that's all okay so what we int intend is the my, uh, finally results of michael were based on experience which we have felt in the case of what in the case of metric spaces okay so you deep do dig deeper into them you get better theorem that's all it is so let us uh, stop here and we shall meet next time with uh, other notions of compactness a new chapter thank you